it's Christmas, it's hot out here, but it's probably cold wherever you guys are. So today, we're going to be playing a Christmas game. But speaking of Christmas, let me get the greeting out of the way. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, well, Happy Everybody, Happy Holidays. And if you have a problem with Happy Holidays, then Happy You Have No Soul. But, as much as my dismay to, as much as I would like to say Happy Christmas, there ain't nothing happy about this poop. This game is Winner Games. You'd think this would be good, a sporting game, but this is one of the crap factors spat out by Epix. They made a lot of other sport games for the Nintendo. It also was published by Acclaim, and it had the seal of Nintendo, yeah, meaning that it was going to be a real crap sandwich. We all know how LJN games fare. But today we're not talking about an LJN game. So let's just play Winner Games. When we first start up the game, we get the Grand Olympics opening of some guy lighting a torch. Can I skip it? Ah, oh, select. You have the option to compete in all events, complete one event, practice events, see world records, and to reply the opening ceremony. I just saw it, why would I want to wa watch it again? Besides, it's boring anyway. So I'll go complete in one event. How do I select? Oh, it's A. One player. Where's Australia? I want to play for my country, Australia. I guess, I guess they couldn't add Australia in there. So you have the option of Canada, USA, uh, Russia, Japan, Great Britain, and France. Anyway, so let's me select the country. I'll go with Great Britain. Anyway, uh, what's with the select screen? I can't go down? Are you kidding me? And you can only type four letters. So I guess I'll go with, uh, what can I go with? Uh, well, and you can't delete either. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, J-J-O-O, -O. whatever. Yeah. Ugh. Seriously, in the age of Legend of Zelda, how hard is it to be to, pro to program a simple entry screen? If you think that was bad, then oh, whoa, where do you see the games? There are only four events. Hot dog, aerials, speed skating, finger, finger skating, and the bobsled. Huh? Uh, um, I'll just go with hot dog, aerials. Oh, mm. God damn it! it's ski jump! Ah. Mm. Uh, Oh, yep, it's ski jump, but with some of the worst controls I've ever seen. All you do is fall, fall, and fall, slamming your genitals into the snow. If you don't touch a button, it still doesn't get any points. You're supposed to do tricks. Well, being as I fall over, why in the hell would I want to do tricks? Who actually made this game? The people who made ski jumpers, hot dog aerials. Well, this is spiraling up the crap factor. Next up is speed skating. You start off and and get a feel with the controls. But how do you actually start? Okay, I'm starting. Oh, and the computer racer takes off. You're supposed to waggle the D-pad back and forth on the left and right keys. It's hell on your fingers and it drains and it drains your energy. Besides, no matter what you do, you still lose. I mean, well, unless you're a complete nut of boss and has the patience to do it, you might actually pass them, but no, it's not possible. You're always one second behind, and he always boot, boots you. I mean, well, I wasn't expecting much of a challenge, but this is ear grating. Why couldn't it just be, you know, press forward to go forward or something? Or press A or something to do it? Ugh, I don't know, really. Yeah, and, I, and he still finishes first before you. Even though your seconds are a lot harder. By the way, you gotta get the least amount of time better, so he's probably beating you. So, I'm still skating. Still skating. And, how do you like the awful finishing music? My exquisite! Isn't that the most exquisite music you'll ever hear? Its exuberant tonality harmoniously blends the dying squeals of Taylor Swift's boyfriends with the melodic rapture of an elephant stomping on a bunch of little girls and sprinkled in with a tiny seasoning of a gramophone covered in diarrhea. Next is the bobsled. It's actually pretty cool, but it's spread out like a cartoon panel or something. What are those, like time or cloud? Sometimes they're, they're kind and carefully lay out clues for you. Like whichever side you bend, that's probably where you're supposed to go. But here's the problem, it's not always clear what you're supposed to do. Meaning, you have to follow the map and the screen to, 
to know where to go. At least it gives a fair challenge. Like, if you turn to a left, you're probably wherever the corner is leading. That's probably where you're supposed to turn. But here's the problem. It's not always clear where they're turning. They just show up and and then you don't. It's all about a quick time event. I get it. Quick time events are now common, but but this is like the granddaddy of quick time events. Sometimes when you turn on a regular axis, you, you can't. Like this one. Now, look at that. How am I supposed to know I can't turn? You just go straight and then... Oh. Oh, what? I was so close. Well, um, it's... Uh, it's not that bad, but it's not good either. Well, bobsled isn't that bad. It's... it's... Not that good, but you you know. The next one. <sighs> Figure skating is by far the worst game in the whole world game. The controls are so unresponsive, I can't figure out what to do. I'm just skating and skating and skating. Oh. And the time's running out. Well, I better Oh, I fell to the floor! Oh, the controls are so unresponsive! I mean uh, can I, like, do a trick or something? I'm gonna try it. Oh, my God! I only have 85 seconds left. Come on. Where is it? 33? The, the numbers can't seem clear. Anyway, so, all right. 29 seconds left. Come on, I gotta figure out how to do a trick. Otherwise, I can't get any points. Oh! I do nothing but fall flat on my face. The controls are so bad that... Oh. I'm not even kidding. But if I were to give out an award, a big poop dripping trophy for the worst controls ever in a video game, I think you'd go to figure skating. When you look at it, I haven't seen anything this unresponsive. Here's one way to do it. You, you go like this. You, you, you go like this. You're playing winter games. You know how an actor when they're always just playing, they pretend to play video games, but you know they're just acting and they're going like this? They're playing winter games. Yeah, go like this. You're playing winter games. Who programmed this thing? Maybe it was someone at Activision. This is an avalanche of awfulness! I can't believe humanity was stupid enough as to produce this failed attempt at entertainment! Well, this game gets a 2 out of 10. Goodbye, you stupid idiot! Alright, you wanna play that one? How about this? Call me! Well, that worked. Well, that was my first Christmas episode already. And it's day nine of games, miss. So, so, come back. We still have, we still have three more episodes of games, miss left. And it's not too late. S leave them in the comments. Superman 64 or ET for the Atari 2600 as the final episode. If you guys want ET or Superman, leave them in the comments down below. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.